all right so hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll talk about roles and how are they different from profiles a good interview question a good thing to understand because it is a part of security and we should all understand how security and record access is done in salesforce right so let's take a look at roles in salesforce so roles are used to control data visibility and access of records in salesforce right that's why you have roles and and primarily the business requirement of roles is right you know any any kind of crm system any kind of business has a role hierarchy right you have people on the top to you have people on the bottom so there is a role hierarchy maintained and that is something can which can be configured into salesforce also salesforce gives you that functionality out of the box alongside that you have roles assigned to people and that roles can govern what data will be visible to you and what kind of access will you have right it kind of gives your managers easy access to your records right because role hierarchy is available in salesforce your managers can see your records right the managers manager can see the manager and your records so that hierarchy helps in data visibility and access cool we talked about owd in our previous video right so there we talked about how role hierarchy can also be used to share or you know provide record access so by default the base layer is owd which enables access for records of different objects on top of that to add up access role hierarchy is used right here we set up roles and provide access based on the role cool let's understand how roles are different from profiles but before that let's take a look at how things look like on the salesforce side so here on the quick find box i'll type in roles this is the roles option that i see under users and this opens up with this page the first time that you open it or if you don't click this don't show this page again it will open up every time this way and it will tell you to you know set up your role hierarchy and control how your organization reports on and accesses data right there are some examples which are available but you can very well go in and set up your roles based on your uh, business requirement right i'll say don't show this again and i'll say set up roles so once i do that let's understand this ui so it says you can build on the existing role hierarchy to insert a new role just click on the add role button so we have the add role button right every company has a ceo right so the ceo is the person who's at the top level who represents the company which is mentioned here so if you want to take a look at all the roles that are below this particular role you can click on the expand all button and this will show you all the roles salesforce provides in every org irrespective of what the business is what you can do is if you have a role that's not matching to this uh, role section here or any role name and you have additional roles to capture you can add role simply you can click on the add role button right so this is how your hierarchy looks see under the ceo you have the cfo coos svp under the svp you have the international support uh, north america support installation and repairs and so on and so forth right and if you want to collapse all you can just say collapse right and if i want to open it like this i can click on the plus icon for specific uh, roles and i can take a look at what is below them cool so this is how your role hierarchy looks and here on the side you have show in tree view which shows you a tree kind of a view if you want to take a look at the hierarchy in a list view format you see it in the list view format but it is kind of uh, tab tab oriented so you see that you know these people are below ceo these guys are below the svp this svp is under the ceo and then same for everyone else right right so you see that this particular role reports to no one what about cfo the cfo reports to the ceo similarly what about svp they report to the sceo right and what's the display name this is the name that they have gotten right this another view that you can take a look at which is the show in sorted list view so you see everything uh, parallel horizontally no division or segregation you can just understand who is where in the ladder by taking a look at the reports to column so which means these three guys here these three roles report to the ceo directly right so you can take a look at any of the options normally the tree view is default selected cool how do you add a role you can just click on the add role button let's say a new position has opened up and the company has uh, recently hired someone uh, below the coo so you can just add a role here and you can give this person a name so i'll call it special coo guy i mean whatever nonsense i have in my head so it will say this role reports to the ceo which is fine i can change it and i can point it to some other record some other role sorry and then you can give it a name i'll call it chief officer right i'll just call it chief officer special this is the name that will come on all the reports cool and then if you notice this is how your access is defined so users in this role you can choose any of the options based on whatever your requirement is right and you get both case level access and opportunity level access to be defined here right so either you go for any one of these three what are the three options either you cannot access any opportunities that uh, uh, 
are not owned by us accounts that we own or the or we can just view all the opportunities owned by our accounts or we can edit all the opportunities which are owned by our accounts right so basically based on the account level access you get opportunity and case access right so here for opportunity the default selection is that you know the the user who will be part of this role will be able to edit all the opportunities regardless of whoever whoever owns the opportunities and for case it is users users in this role cannot access the cases that they do not own that are associated with accounts that they do own so let's say you have an account created the chief officer special created an account and under that there are five cases those five cases are assigned to me not you so in that case you won't have access to the cases right but if you want to provide access you can say view that means you will have access you will be able to see all the cases but not modify them and if you want to give the modification access also permission you can go for the third option cool so once you are good with this configuration you can click on the save button and this will say this change will update sharing for accounts owned by users at this role so as soon as you create the role it will say that the sharing for the accounts owned by users at this role will be modified right now there's no one assigned this role so there won't be any modification but we can just say okay and this will be saved now what do we notice the special ceo guy reports to the ceo right and if i go back to the roles picture i'll see my role coming up right below under the coo see the special ceo guy is below the ceo right and once i have a role and i want to assign this to someone i can let's say my security user should be assigned this role i'll just take a look at security user here and i'll say assign cool i can do that and i can say save so once i do that the security user will be assigned the coo special ceo role and the sharing for account records that uh, this guy owns uh, accordingly the opportunity and the case access will be given so now let's understand how are roles different from profiles right so profiles on one hand take care of things like object access field level access and permissions whereas roles on the other hand take care of record visibility and record access right so profiles kind of are on the higher level and kind of govern what level of access or on the what level of metadata access will the user who's part of the profile will have whereas on the record level access the data access that's where roles come in right both go hand in hand and can be used together no no hard and fast rule of not using one or the other so whenever we create a user record right what do we do we click on the new user button and we fill in the required fields and if you notice the role says none specified and there's the profile here right the profile is the mandatory field along with the user license but role is not mandatory for a user all right it shows red but you can save it with none specified so if i go with some random name right and i try to save this let's say with the salesforce license and the system admin profile and i don't choose a role right and if i click on save i can still save the user this is duplicate name that's okay let's say h triple p and save so you see i'm able to save a user without the role which means a profile is a mandatory field for a user record to be created whereas a role is not but you can definitely come back and assign a role here cool so roles are not mandatory for a user record whereas profiles are however once you set up a role and assign it to the user the access for the records is governed by the owd followed by the role hierarchy configuration right so right now what will happen is this user will have access to the object metadata based on the profile here and what about the data it would basically be out of the owd right and on top of that if we have role hierarchy configured and we assign a role here then the data sharing or the visibility of records will be owd plus the role access given to the user right so an easy way to remember the difference between roles and profiles or rather have a phrase that kind of gets onto you and you understand what's the difference i've just made this up this says roles look at what profiles took right so whatever object level or metadata level permissions profiles take based on that roles take a look at whatever records are available right so you can just uh, maybe remember this particular phrase <laughs> that will help you out so roles look at what profiles took because that was all about roles i had and if you want to take a look at the owd video before that you can take a look at that video as well right cool see you in the next lecture bye